Hi, welcome to a Solid Edge ST10 video tutorial. I want to do the airblade or propeller exercise in Solid Edge ST. Very similar to the Inventor and Fusion 360 version. So let's have fun with Solid Edge. Let's do some sketches. First sketch on the front plane, just a line. maybe 260 long give it a dimension okay then align the origin with the midpoint and close that sketch finish next one I need some points because the behavior of those splines is very erratic in solid edge. No, not the spline, but first the points. So maybe one point here. One, two, three. Another one maybe here. to do them symmetric so I will add symmetry let's activate the symmetry line maybe this one and make those points symmetric like this Then draw a spline through those points. Maybe like this. Okay, nice. And close that sketch. Then I need another one. I go for the mid plane here. And that will be a line which goes from this point, maybe in that direction. And maybe the length should be 50. Okay. Close that sketch, finish, and I will need a rotational axis, therefore I will change sketch to and will activate another symmetry line by this and then I can use it as rotational axis finish okay now for the sweep which is called swept in solid edge go for swept single path cross sections okay first the path this would be the path confirm that would be the profile confirm and then change the angle start angle maybe 0 and then end angle 45 finish cancel this out now a revolve with this sketch right here confirm and select that line for the rotational axis and let's take a look I want to go maybe like this and maybe like yeah, doesn't matter. Finish, cancel this out. And then go for a trim. Maybe hide those sketches. Trim. I want to trim that surface with this tool. And I want to remove that side. Confirm. 
and hide that revolve. Now I need a circular pattern and this should be around that axis. Finish, cancel this out, go for a pattern. I want to pattern that body, confirm. Circle has to be on that plane. Circular pattern, two instances, just make a circle in that direction. And finish and I'm almost done. I have to stitch those two together. One, two, confirm, finish, cancel this out. And then you could go for a thicken and thicken would be on the home tab. I think it's here, thicken this body in one direction maybe one millimeter and the other as well so I will go in that direction finish cancel this out and I'm done so I hope you enjoyed this one if you liked it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook cat fan page would be very nice of you Thanks for watching, see you to the next one, bye bye!